Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Let's Die Lord in Dark Souls at Torius of the Abyss. And uh, I am going to start off this episode by simply coming back to life because there's so much invasions going on here so I really want to be alive. Uh, let's see, let's reverse the hollowing. As you may remember last time I got invaded and actually got killed there towards the end but on the plus side I actually defeated two out of three phantoms. It's a pretty good uh, score considering it's me. So I'm pretty happy about that. That makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. But I did get killed and I want to collect my souls because I do believe it was a fair amount of souls. So we are going to find them. What? Ah, uh, you lucky ugly thing. Whoa, bad st stamina management right there. I'm going to celebrate that by giving you a... Well, alright, that's the end of you. Ha 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 ha, yeah, that's very funny, comedians. Oh, you just timed that attack perfectly, my friend. But you die anyway. They drop large Titanite shards. Now I know. Hey, guys, come on over. And there's the comedian over there. I haven't really got time to listen to your jokes. Oh, they're really quite happy, aren't they? Whee! Right, let's do some running. Hi! Remember me from last time? From the last episode? When I stabbed you in the back? I sure hope you do. Alright, we should be back at where I died soon enough. Ah. Backstabbers Maximus. And there is another guy over there. Which I'm going to murder, and I think the other guy dropped something. i better pick it up. Large Titanite Shah, that's cool. I think there's one guy that drops down up from up here. Yep. My souls should be somewhere around... Yeah, there they are. Let's see if I can drop attack. I'll plunge attack these guys can kind of get up on this. Oops! That was a wide miss, but never mind. You're a goner anyway. Now give me back my souls. And I also had one humanity. Ah, that's cool. This looks somewhat suspicious. Uh, maybe I should try the... Hmm, I thought I heard footsteps. All right, maybe I should try the. What I what am I doing? Maybe I should try and equip the sunlight maggot. Maybe something interesting will happen. Nope. Nothing. And over there is two more casters, I think. Oh no, it's one more. He's over there, up on that ledge. And he's a bit of a pain, so I'm going to try and stay out of his way. Oh, my. Ah. Is 
heal up before I get shot in the face by that caster guy. Get some more soul items. I hear footsteps all over the place. Hmm. I'm gonna run up here. And these guys are gonna follow me, I think, most likely. Whoa! Ugh! Ah, wide miss! Where's the other guy? Are you gonna follow your friend? Hi, guys! Come on! Don't be strangers! Oh, never mind. I'm gonna go up here anyway. They can stay there. See if I care. Uh, all right, let's go up here. It's really creepy sound scape this. And here's another one of these pimple-faced guys. And we're going to go up here first. We can drop down over there, which we're going to do. But first, we're going to go in here. And there is an item over there. I think it's a Titanite slab. And some people have said that you can actually jump over here. But I haven't managed to do that. I keep falling off. But what you can do instead is wear the Sunlight Maggot or uh, cast light. And this doorway will be opened here. Then you can just run up here and get the red titanite chunk. All right, it wasn't a slab, but, but at least it was a titanite piece. Uh, let's see if we can drop down here and stab this gentleman in the back. Or maybe just kill him out straight. And this little chest there is, of course, a mimic. And I am going to kill it because I hate these guys. And he drops, I think, another one. No, he drops a key, right, yeah. He drops the crest key, which uh, we are going to check out what that does. And here's another one of these sneaky guys that want to trap me or rather ambush me. We can drop down here if we'd like, but we're not going to do that because there's some more stuff to pick up over here. Shortcut ahead, that is quite true, and I'm going to activate the shortcut before I do anything else. Oops! Ah, crap. I fell a bit too far there. So I'm going to go back and show you an item that we missed because I was clumsy. So we are now in that big hallway and uh, we're gonna run back to the staircase and as you can see that magic user is up there. I'm gonna fast forward this All right, see if we can do this this time without screwing up. So if we go this way, we will find a soul item, I think. No, twin humanities, that's nice. Can never have too many humanities. Oh, balls. Took a bit of damage there. And there. over here, I think, yeah, this here's the shortcut which we are going to activate before we do anything else. This will bring us back up top side, up here, and now we have an easy way of getting down there. And I'm going to go back to the bonfire and rest, and also uh, show you with that key what door that key opens. Am I gonna kindle this? I... Nah, I'm not gonna do that. 
I am going to run back here however and I might actually also return to the yeah Artoria's boss fight room now here's a I think it's a lady uh, that is praying at the grave of Artorius. That was really <laughs> quick. They've dug a grave, grave for him roughly five minutes after I killed him. That's really quick. Anyway, what you can do, you can talk to her. You, is that not the soul of the man who fell on this spot? He was a dear friend. I wish to pay proper respect with that soul. Would you be willing to part with it? Now, I'm not sure what will happen if you say yes, because I said no with my other character. And I'm going to try and say yes. I'm obviously going to lose the Artorias soul, and uh, I'm not sure what you can do with it. I'm sure you can build a weapon uh, with it, or something like that. Uh, but I'm going to give it to her and see what happens, because I'm curious. And you need to do this, I think, before you fight the next boss. Otherwise she will just uh, disappear or she won't be here when you come back. So I'm going to try and say yes and see what happens. Thank you. You are very kind. Please take this. I no longer need it. Ooh, dark silver tracer and gold tracer. Hmm. May the Lord guide thee. I have no idea what that is. Let's see if we can find out. Is that weapons or like... It is dagger. A silver dagger used by the Lord's Blade Sierran of Gwyn's Fortnite. Blah blah blah. Hmm, alright. Ooh, scales with S with dexterity. That's interesting I suppose. And the other one was called something else. See if we can find it. Gold tracer, right. Curved sword used by the Lord's Blade, Sierran, one of the Lord Gwyn's four knights. Sierran brandishes this, her sword in a mesmerizing dance, etching the darkness with dire streaks of gold. And it does, oops, scales with strength and dexterity. All right. All right. Interesting. Fair trade indeed. Thank you very much, ma'am. Can I talk to you some more? May the Lord guide thee. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Fair enough. I think I'm going to unequip my ridiculous maggot helmet here and uh, put my um, sexy looking Velka's mask back on. So let's run up here and I'm going to show you where that key will lead that we picked up. Hmm, does this lead anywhere particular? Uh, to my death I would assume, yeah, well, let's not fall down there shall we? Crest key. And this guy, I can't remember his name, but he's he's a giant and he's blind and he's got this ginormous bow. Give it to me, I want it. But I can't pick it up. Mm, a visitor, have we? Thou must be the one who freed Artorias. An old friend he was. Thanks to thee, he left this world with honor intact. I'm glad you feel that way. I am retired and blind. A little help to thee, I'm afraid. So you can buy some stuff from this guy, and I think he's got another one of those carvings. Yes, the hello carving. And the thank you one, all right. I'm going to buy them. And he's got some other stuff, some Titanite shards, some Titanite rather, and some. Well, he's got his special. Oh yeah, this is the name of the guy. Go, go, go. I can't pronounce it, but this is the name of the giant, and he's making these 
bloody ginormous arrows. I think you need the dragon bow to use them. Mm, requires great bow, yeah. See if I can talk with him some more. The vast secret to explore this domain. Be wary of a black. Yeah, dragon. I've noticed. Thank you. I fear thee no match for this terrible beast. Mm, there's very little to be said. What good is a dog with no hands to hunt? But I'm lucky to be alive, I suppose. Me? But who could but I'm lucky? Farewell, human. Lead thy life as thou seest fit. And this guy's gonna help us out later on in the dragon fight, and I'm gonna show you what he does later on. It's pretty interesting, actually. Uh, but I'm going to run back and uh, we are going to move onwards in the into the abyss so to speak and I think we're gonna go back to that shortcut we just opened up and maybe I should level up because I have a unholy amount of souls and I don't want to lose them Let's see if we can do that. And maybe repair some stuff as well. And do some leveling up. How about some more endurance? Some more vitality and some more strength. Right. Let us move on. Let us move onwards. And I'm just going to ignore all of these guys because I'm sick of them. And run over here and take the lift down. And please feel free to follow me and fall to your death. But somehow they never do. That's a shame. Uh, let's see. Have I got my bow? Yes, I do. Because I'm going to be needing it a bit here. I'm going to shoot this guy in the face. Just to get his attention. And then stab him in the stomach. Goodbye. And there's a bit of a trap here. You can see to the uh, to the left there. There's a guy waiting for us, and there's another one to the right. And I don't want to aggro those mages over there because I hate them. Oh, oh, that's some crappy timing on my behalf. Oh, come on! <laughs> uh, all right. And I'm going to heal up completely because. Those guys over there, I mean, I hate them. Mages. Uh, am I going to use my bow and arrow? I think I am, actually. Because they are kind of... kind of annoying. Uh, I think I can get this guy. Actually, they can't get me, but I can get them, which is... Just the way I like it. No, 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 don't go, don't go that way. I hate these guys, I'm just gonna make my life a bit easier. And now we're coming up to another rather annoying fella. At least I find him annoying. This guy's lugging around a a plug to a bathtub, I think. Or maybe it's just a rock. I'm not sure, but it's ooh, it's got a huge range. And I had some pretty major problems with this guy with my other character. Let's see if it maybe works a bit better with this one, because he always got me. 
Ah, he's got a really fast, you know, recovery. So he can attack again. But I'm making a whole lot more damage with this uh, character. So hopefully, oh, hopefully I can get him. I actually poisoned him with my other character because I couldn't be bothered fighting him. And you can also actually just run past him. You don't have to fight him if you don't want to. Oh my! Let's roll away. I think one more. One more hit will do it. Yeah! And he drops... Yeah, I think he will drop different types of armor. I got a chain leggings before, but other times he will drop like... Yeah, other types of armor as well. I'm not quite sure if that is random or, or what that depends on. As I said, you don't have to fight him. You can just run past him and uh, take this lift down. As you shall soon see. However, there is a fellow waiting for you on the lift, so be aware of that. I think, yeah. Hi there. To hell with you. Let's take the lift down into the abyss. And there's another bonfire, thankfully. I'm gonna sit down and chill out. And I think we'll save this area for, for the next episode because we're up to about 20 minutes and uh, and all that. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and all that. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye.